my sweet friends welcome to this tutorial of how to make a texture sort of marble but more texture um, part of a cake uh, that I used for a wedding cake recently so I'm going to use two kinds of sugar paste one is a very soft white sugar paste the other as you can see is a very old and dry it's not old still edible but uh dry uh sugar paste block of sugar paste that i let set overnight so it will have the great one so it will have that uh, rusty look now i'm going to create some balls with the um, the white sugar paste it's quite soft i'm going to put them together in a group and then i'm going to heat them just for a little bit on the microwave so they melt and they create a whole structure you will see in a minute so now that i have more or less the amount of balls that i want i'm going to place them together as you see and then i'm going to put them on top of a parchment paper so it will be easy for me to handle it as you can see i'm leaving some holes in there like some empty parts and uh, that's the idea for the texture that i want to create uh, i'm going to put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds that's it then as you can see they melted a little bit i'm going to add some cornstarch and then roll it out with a small rolling pin not too much just enough to create a whole structure but still leaving some empty holes and the shapes of the balls around that this is done i'm going to set it to a side and i'm going to start working with the hard sugar paste remember i let it set overnight uh on the outside like it wasn't wrapped or anything so i'm going to take chunks of this a uh, dry sugar paste and also start creating some sort of structure placing them all together just like that done bother about any specific shape or any specific uh, way to glue them together just be free be creative and uh, create a whole structure that later we're going to roll out similar to what we did with the little balls I rolled out the uh, the piece that I was doing before and now I'm just going to take pin like pinching the dry sugar paste and take little pieces of that then I'm also going to be leaving this outside in the air for about an hour to dry even more and to add later to the whole textured piece that we're going to do to cover the center part central part of the cake. You can see here i'm even adding some of the white uh, sugar paste that is quite soft so i'm going to take little chunks as you can see here and i'm going to also leave it to dry for a couple of hours so they get they get dry and uh, hard that will give the texture to the piece that we are making Now this is the fun part because I love making marble texture uh, sugar paste. So I'm going to add chunks of the um, gray sugar paste with the white and I'm going to roll it out together, twist it and twist it all over again so I can create some sort of marble effect uh, on, the, on the stripe of structure or texture that we're creating for this cake. Uh, once the piece is rolled out not completely rolled out I, I roll it out like a quite thick and now I'm going to add the pieces that we left to dry before uh, just around just press it on this uh, marble 
sugar paste that we have. And also remember the first structure, I'm going to place it in one of the corners uh, that is going to be wrapped around the cake just to give a different kind of structure to this. And now with, oh, and this one, I forgot about this one that also I'm going to take chunks and pieces and just place them around this marble cake or this marble sugar paste that we have. Now that everything is set, I'm just going to press and roll it out all together to create this sort of stone texture piece that is going to cover the center part of a cake that I'm making for the class on uh, sugar. It's not sugar, it's gelatin flowers, fantasy gelatin flowers. And you will see this class available at the Art Cake School. Soon enough, I will be leaving all the links here. So now that I have here, look at this structure. I have everything that I wanted, the structure the way I wanted it. So now I'm just going to trim it and cut it to the size of the central part of the cake. Okay, once that is trimmed to the size that I need for the central part, what I'm going to do in the top is I'm just going to pinch out uh, pieces, very rustic pieces of sugar paste because I wanted to leave it like, you know, like a, the border of a rustic paper, something very, uh, it's like, it's not clean, it's not a clean line, but it will create a beautiful effect at the end. So just pinch, as you can see, some parts are more, are softer, some parts are harder, but just pinch it around the top because that will be the top of the central tier of the cake. So here is my cake, it's a dummy cake, three tiers uh, dummy cake covered in sugar paste. I'm going to add some water to the base of the central tier, uh, not to the top because I don't want it to glue right away. I want to give some movement on the top. Once everything is glued, um, everything has water in it. I'm not using CMC, I'm just using water to glue it together. I'm going to add or wrap around this a central piece. It's okay if it's a little bit higher at some points. I actually like it because it gives that wrapping structure to the, or texture to the cake. So now that it is where I want it, I'm going to start giving some movement on the top so it will look like it's actually wrapping and moving around the cake. You can also trim it a little bit if you feel that it's too too tall, too high, or that it's sticking out too much of your cake. You decide, be creative and decide whatever you feel that is uh, best for your design. Okay, so once I have my cake or this texture part center and to the height that I wanted, I decided to cut out some um, pieces um, from um, silicone mold, um, some arabesques and some, some uh, nice uh, ornaments to add into the cake and I'm just going to add it randomly just to create some pattern around the cake and uh, later on I'm going to add some edible pearls as well just to add more dimension to the cake. Uh, using some edible uh, paint, gold paint, I'm going to add some details of gold on the top of this texture piece that we add into the center, central part of the cake, uh, just to create some sort of 
um, is like a borderline in the top and it will pop a little bit of light into it since the cake is all in the gray, uh, the gray colors, you know, black, white, gray colors and the flowers will be the same tones. So I just wanted to add uh, an accent of uh, gold in order to, you know, give the pop of color and make it a little bit more elegant as well. And finally, I'm just going to add some pearls uh, around the ornaments that we apply into the center of the cake. Uh, these are edible sugar pearls just uh, to give an extra texture to the cake. You can also play with different kinds of, uh, different size of pearls and that will be nice too. And uh, finally, let me just show you how I'm going to place the flowers. This part belongs to the complete class on fantasy gelatin flowers, where you can learn to make these four flowers uh, using gelatin paper. Um, you can make them using, uh, it's a combination of gelatin paper with uh, modeling paste and also wafer paper. Um, they're very fun to make, very easy, and the result is very, very nice because they have a lot of light and transparency into it. If you're interested in this class, I'm going to be leaving the links here below for, the, uh, for this class uh, available on the art cake school my online school and uh, i'm just going to leave you with how i placed the flowers so you can see the final result i really hope you liked this tutorial don't forget to leave me a like a comment and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you next time stay creative my friends thanks for watching